and welcome back to my channel i am back in my old background i have only had like my other background with the sofa behind me for the past like three videos but i wanted to come back up here upstairs because i just prefer filming up here also i don't have to get my studio lights out which i do downstairs because i've got a window right in front of me here which is all the light that I need right now but today I'm going to be filming my July favourites and I thought that instead of doing like my usual thing of my feelings favourites and fails which I have actually been doing for well over a year now where I usually talk about like my general feelings of the month and then a few favourites and then some fails I thought I would just do it fully favourites because I just miss doing that so if you want to kind of know like my feelings of the month and just watch my weekly vlogs which I've started doing I've posted two weekly vlogs so far so if you want to know you know what I get up to on a daily basis or a weekly basis then go and give them a watch because I will be posting one of those every single Monday so first of all we're going to talk about skincare my first skincare product is not going to be a surprise or maybe it will be I don't know it depends if you've been watching my videos but this is my charcoal clay face mask it's my own little skincare business that I have I sell my own homemade skincare products on Etsy and ebay i will leave any links in the description to do with that if you are interested in checking it out but i wanted to create a face mask that is like something that's perfect to me and what i like i have oily skin and not horrifically oily but just a little bit oily these days and i do love a good clay face mask and i just really like charcoal in general as an ingredient because it is really good for skin especially reducing spots and reducing oil and that kind of thing so it is great for my skin type but it is also good for other skin types and yeah you just pop it onto your skin leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off and your skin will feel super super um clean but also soft because i have included glycerin as an ingredient in my face mask so that your skin will look glowy as well so i just include it because it is my newest launch product i launched it last month so yeah that's a solid favorite i've been using that two to three times a week also i have this which is from the ordinary i have mentioned this a few times but that is why it is a favorite so this is the ordinary aha and 30 percent and bha 2 percent peeling solution basically you pop this onto your skin and like rub it in a little bit and then leave it on your skin for about 10 minutes and it exfoliates your skin so it's instead of using like a scrub or something like that like if you don't want to use a scrub use it something like this and it will exfoliate your skin without having to use like a harsh kind of like abrasive product uh, what i would say is if you've got any cuts or anything on your face or if you've got sensitive skin or i don't know any kind of dry skin that's a little bit sore this may sting a little bit i find that almost every single time i use this my skin is absolutely fine with it because my skin's pretty you know it's not sensitive at all basically but whenever i do have like a little bit of i don't know a little sore patch on my skin or something this would sting like hell so just bear that in mind but yeah i love this and after using it it makes my skin so soft and clear and yeah honestly i will be 100 percent repurchasing this after i've run out of it because i have noticed a massive difference i'm the kind of person that sticks to the same kind of skincare routine so whenever i re like whenever i introduce a new product into my routine i know if it works or not because my skin will change and adjust to that product then we're going to talk about makeup I only have a couple of makeup products to talk about um, but the first one or first two kind of is these which are from AOA Studio. Now this is the Fat Lash Mascara um, and this is like the actual mascara but it also comes with a primer. So the primer is a white colour and like a gloopy kind of consistency and then the other kind of mascara is just like obviously a standard mascara. It's a plastic applicator for both of the mascaras and what you do is you apply the kind of primer onto, onto your lashes first, leave it for about a minute and then apply the other mascara on afterwards. Without the primer I would say that this mascara is not you know so great so together they work quite well it lengthens the lashes and it gives a little bit of volume but i would say lengthwise these two together do really do good however 
that kind of sounded a bit weird but anyway um however i would say that they don't give as much volume as my current favorite mascara which is from mua but i do really like these and i wanted to include them in a favorites video because they have given quite a lot of length to my lashes um i've used them today on my lashes but it's hard for you to kind of see because i've got quite a dramatic eye look on so it makes my lashes look smaller anyway because of that if you understand what i'm saying i don't know um but yeah i do like these and then i have this which i haven't used in ages but okay that's the wrong one i picked up the wrong one bear with me hello so I'm back with the correct lipstick. So this is from, this is from Maybelline. My brother got me it for one of my birthdays or Christmases ages ago. And it's in the shade 983. And it is a matte lipstick. It's like a matte, um, it's not a matte liquid lipstick, obviously. It's just a normal matte lipstick. But I quite like it. It's a nudie kind of shade to my skin tone. And I've got it on my lips today, as you can see. I have lined my lips as well. But I just like how this lipstick just goes with every single eye look that you do. Whether you do no eyeshadow or loads of eyeshadow, it literally just goes with everything. And I've been really liking it. It's comfortable on the lips. It doesn't look kind of cakey and yeah i i really like this fashion bits i only have one thing don't have a lot of fashion favorites ever because i don't i'm not a fashionable person basically um but dungarees so it's hard for me to show these um but yeah these are the dungarees they are like a dungaree dress so they're not like dungaree shorts they're not dungarees leggy don't know what i'm on about but they're not full-on dungarees they're like a dungaree dress dunga dress um, but yeah, I really like this because especially for summer, I will wear this and you can pair it with different t-shirts. So obviously this is like the dungaree section and then underneath you can wear different t-shirts or maybe even a jumper underneath. Like you can style it up very differently. So it's something that, you know, it's very versatile and I like that. You can wear it with tights um, in like autumnal months and in summer wear it without tights. I, I just think this is a great thing. And yeah, I really like the color of it as well. It's not a new piece. I've had it for years, but I bring it out every year. Homeware things. So I've got two, um, I've got a few homeware things and kind of cleaning things that I'm going to kind of bunch together. I went to Donnell with my mum and my nana Pat like last week and my mum got me a few little bits and bobs. One of those was this. This is like a little giraffe mug and doesn't that look so cute? If you follow my channel for a while you know that I really love mugs and especially ones that are like little animals. I've got a pig mug. I've also got um, like a little monkey Christmas mug and yeah I have loads of mugs that I love and yeah this is just my recent addition to my collection. I always look forward now since I've got this to having my cup of tea in the evening because that's what I drink it in. It is used. I haven't actually washed it up. Oops. Um, so um, at least it shows that I keep using it. So it's a true favourite. And then she also got me um, another thing to drink liquids out of but this is like a little coffee or tea like takeout mug again I have been using this I used this this morning for my iced coffee what I've been doing is I've literally just been having my iced coffee in this in the mornings and obviously I know it is like a takeout mug um so you can like put your tea in there and then leave the house but I just like you know having this for breakfast like you know is that okay I don't know but yeah I like it have my little iced coffee in here because obviously it's summer months we want something cool um very very comfortable to drink out of first of all I love the look of this but in terms of actually drinking out of this like that is like the best Kind of lid that i've ever drank out of when it comes to takeout cups because sometimes it can just spill everywhere but this is great i would recommend but yeah i think it was on discount in Dunelm. so yeah would recommend this i really love it now um a couple of cleaning things this is another zaflora i love zaflora if you've never used it and you like cleaning where have you been it is amazing this one is like the bouquet scented one and i've had a few other scents before but this was like my summer scents the one that i've kind of picked for summer i just add a cap full of this into like a little bowl add some boiling water and it fragrances the rooms when you i kind of like put the bowl in different rooms it fragrances the room and i then get a cloth and like wipe around all of my surfaces i also add this into anything when i'm cleaning things so if i'm cleaning my shower i will add it into my little kind of water bowl or if i'm cleaning the toilet or the sink or anything i use the flora it's so versatile it's literally the best thing ever so yeah i 
I personally wanted to include it because A, I love the flora and B, I love this scent. Can't wait for autumn to get one of the autumnal scents. And then another recent cleaning product find is this. So this is the pink stuff. This is the Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner. And I have seen so many people rave about like the whole range of the pink stuff. And I specifically saw people saying that this is really good for when you're cleaning like um, sinks or showers and things like that. And yes, I completely agree. When you spray this, the actual liquid is pink, which I love, like I really like that. And then when you like scrub it in, it's got like a little like abrasive consistency to it. So it actually really helps to clean things and it makes the shower shinier, the sink shinier, like it's just a great product. So I would highly recommend this if you like things to look extra extra clean so very impressed with that loving using it then we have some foodie bits and bobs so in the evenings i've loved having a cheeky fiber yum brownie so this is actually from lidl lidl's own version of basically like a rip off of the fiber one brownies however i prefer these and also they're cheaper so go to lidl and get them um i have one of these i have like a little bowl of custard that i make warmed and add in this brownie i kind of like uh, pull it apart into little pieces put it in my custard mix it around and then eat it because i don't know i just like it um but it's nice so thought to include that i think i included them in my last favorites videos as well so they're making a second appearance also on the food front is this so this is also from lidl it's the high protein granola this is the cranberry and almond um one that i have got a couple of the other granolas as well in my cupboard however um i just wanted to show this um, as like a, a representation of smoothie bowls. I have loved making smoothie bowls. I will try and insert a picture on the screen of it, what I mean by a smoothie bowl, but it's basically like mixed up kind of blended frozen fruits. I kind of blend up like berries with some banana and then I add on a bit of granola and then either a little bit of honey or a little bit of golden syrup. And I love having that in the evening, nice and refreshing. And it just makes me eat a lot more fruit than I would normally. So I thought to include that. And yeah, I really love the granolas that little do in general as well. Then in terms of intangible products, so kind of TV slash YouTuber favourites, Love Island, I have been watching it and it has been a favourite. Wouldn't say it's kind of like the best year that it's ever been. I think, you know, you can see where the show is kind of like fake and, you know, when they try and get people to say things that you can just tell that the show and the producers have made them say it. But I'm still here to watch it every single night and I still enjoy watching it. I think for me, if I didn't watch it, I would get annoyed by kind of seeing um their names and them being discussed all over social media if i haven't watched the show because i'm like oh who are these people i don't care but when you watch the show and you see it on the news you know what they're on about and it's kind of interesting but yeah so love island and then youtuber favorite is tarty she's back to youtube um yep she's been back for a while now but i was so happy when she came back so if you don't really know who she is, I will link her channel in the description. I don't need to because she's got like nearly 10 million subscribers or 9 million or whatever it is. And um, yeah, she's back. I'm so glad she posts Mondays and Thursdays and I'm just very glad that she's back because it just inspires me to start doing my makeup again. And yeah, whenever she posts a video, she's the person that I have to watch it pretty much as soon as she's posted that video. I'm like, oh, I'll watch it later. And I'm like, oh no, I'll just watch it now. So yeah. I will link her in the description if you would like. That is pretty much everything for my favourites for this month. I um, have my little categories. I'm super happy with everything. I think one of my favourite favourites is actually this cup. I don't know why. I just really love it. So yeah, the star of the show. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you on Monday for weekly vlog number three where I will show you me starting my new job. So see you then. Goodbye.